Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for. Oh, what is it? I don't even know. Uh, gosh, what is it? It is the for the twelfth, right around the twelfth. You know, the timing is fluid, right? So let's just see what kind of message do I have to deliver today. What I see is the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is a new spark, a new desire, taking action, a new exciting opportunity, even could be a new partner, something exciting coming in. This is an exciting time. It's a very fertile time. Something happening, su happening suddenly, all of a sudden, okay? There's something exciting happening. Could be a new drive or a new desire, um, something, say, a new vision, okay? It could be a period of growth the ace of wands whatever it is this is a new opportunity that is exciting so that could grow and it's passionate there's a lot of passion two of pentacles not two of pentacles this is a trying to find balance needing to adapt needing to be flexible ah uh, Two pentacles. It looks like we have some uh, people that are very much alike. Very, very, very much alike right here. Holding hands, coming together, sticking together perhaps. But this is, the two of pentacles is a choice and it's about change. It is about change. Six of cups reversed. Now this is freedom from obligation, the Six of Cups reversed. No chance of reunion perhaps. Letting go of the past. Picking up, packing up. Leaving, leaving the past behind. What I, what I, it's like picking up the pieces to something. It's time to pick up the pieces. There's a change here. Nothing stays the same. Mm -hmm. There's no going back. Interesting. Oh, no, the tower reversed. There is no going back. There's a permanent loss here. So we have a permanent loss. And it has to do with, uh, we have childhood here. There's, 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 uh, I think we have a separation with the tower reversed. Now this is uh, letting go of the past, packing up and leaving home needing to adapt to a difficult change. There's going to be a separation. And I hate to say that all the time, but the tower is a permanent loss. It's a painful change that you never saw coming. And you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to be adaptable to this change. Now, the two of pentacles is typically about profit, in loss. And the Six of Cups reverse is, a, and this Tower reverse is, ex, it's an extreme in reversed. Somebody's been, been, has to, there's some childhood problems here. Somebody may be, have been holding on to somebody because of their own childhood uh, problems, you know, maybe they have inner child problems, you know, with, and so they've clung, they've clung to somebody that they worshipped almost like they worshipped another person because of their, you know, lack when they were a child. Anyhow. Um, this is being freed from a false sense of security. This is a, this is a shock. There is a shocking uh, separation here, and I'm sorry, but that's what I feel like this is. Hmm. Ooh, because there's another there's and you think about the ace of wands that's a that's a new spark a new desire a new flame a new 
attraction, okay? And the sick in this lovers card is a unexpected opportunity for love. There's a new attraction here. There is a new attraction here, which is and I think what I think is going to happen is going to be a sudden departure from somebody that they have been, you know, dealing with. Somebody is okay, there's a choice. We we definitely have a choice here. We have a choice. You notice there's a person in the background, okay? So there's a choice between two here. There's a choice between two. So somebody is being freed from their obligations because somebody has uh, or is connecting with somebody else. There is somebody in the background that is watching, that is watching this go down, okay? Something is going down with the tower reversed. It's going to be extremely painful to at least one person, okay? Somebody could get caught. They could get caught cheating or they could get caught um, going with somebody else or whatever. But we definitely have a change here. This is an unexpected choice in love that comes in very, very suddenly. This is sudden and the Ace of Wands is sudden. So there's a sudden uh, coming together of people. And this could be somebody from the past. Okay, this may be somebody that you knew when you were a child. Um, somebody that you held hands with at one time. Okay, somebody that you are deeply connected to. Could be a soulmate, somebody you're meant to be with. Um, you have memories. Maybe you have, maybe it's a past life memory. I don't know. But this is probably going to be building a new foundation with somebody that is unexpected. Okay. Um, now, this is a card of consequences, and this is too. So there is going to be some consequences for um, getting together with this person. Somebody, you know is going to be set free. Now, this lover's card is a choice. A major choice with these we have a major choice that is being made. This is choice and this is choice and this is major and this is major. We have a major choice being made to pack up and leave home and go with somebody else. Somebody's going with somebody else and know that's what's happening. Okay, this is the person that you have shared values with somebody that you know there's some sort of deep connection. It goes all the way back to it feels like childhood. It feels like it's a childhood. It's a it's a it's a somebody that you have a contract with. Put it that way because this is a contract. Ooh, there's definitely another woman. Um, and we have an individual here that has been thinking. They've been thinking. They've been stuck. They've been trying to decide what they want. But they it looks like they, they know that they have an opportunity for something very passionate. There's a deep attraction here. They, there's a person that they have their eye on or that they've been hanging on to that may be very forceful. I mean, the Queen of Wands is very forceful. She's very uh, attractive, but and she's very powerful with this red. So we have a very powerful individual here who... This is over here. Somebody's been hanging on... To it feels like they've been on this is a very controlling energy it is it is somebody it feels like somebody has been controlled and they've been missing an opportunity because they've been controlled by another person but they run into somebody or they something happens that brings them together with a soulmate that helps to break them free from this person's control somebody has been under another person's control but I feel like they're they're being they're setting themselves free from that person's control, and it happens very very fast. I think it happens suddenly. There's a, there's sudden, and this could, there could be a reunion here, and I and, and I think at the beginning I may have said no chance in reunion with this person. I think there's a reunion with a soulmate from the past. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, we have the devil in the okay the devil right next to the lovers card. Well, this is good. This is this is a strong strong very strong sexual connection and the ace of wands at the beginning that's a new sexual partner okay i didn't want to say it at the beginning because of the youtube guidelines but uh this is a sexual connection 
I think that we have two people that are that are coming together that have a deep, 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 deep bond. This goes beyond this lifetime. I don't I don't like to say that very often, but I feel like it is. Um, there's a need to let go. That the hangman is about letting go of another woman. I think this is a, there's another woman here that is being let go. This woman has been very controlling. She's been very manipulative. And, and I'm not saying anything about you, Queen of Wands. I'm going with the energy of the card. This person um, is very forceful, very um, bossy, likes to be the boss. Um, somebody has been uh, clung to that person. But now they're making a choice to be together with somebody else and I think that they can't stop themselves from doing it the attraction is is magnetic it's extremely magnetic and I feel like these two people that are coming together out of the blue are absolute soulmates this is a soulmate connection and it's absolutely meant to be there's uh, it's undeniable you can't stop yourself from doing it whatever that is the, the attraction is uh, out of this world Now, the Seven of Wands is, so, you know, it feels like we have an individual that's going to try to push somebody away. You're probably going to say, no, I can't do this, but you're not going to be able to win. It's like you can't win. You can't win. I think that uh, there's a, such a deep connection that it's really hard to push away this passion, this this uh, passionate connection. There's a deep, deep, deep connection that is about to uh, be. It feels like it's so hot. It's so hot. It's so passionate. It's so desirable that, you know, uh, it's on fire. It's on fire. Jeez, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Gonna need some rain to put it out. It's raining in the background, but there's a, there's a, I think it's a past life connection where two people are coming back together um, all of a sudden and there's no way to fight it. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think, I mean, I don't, I don't think there is any way to fight it. Six of Wands reversed. This is a, no, this is a no, this is a fail. Can't fight it. Can't fight it. No victory, no success. This is being right in the middle of it, you know. Uh, I feel like we have uh, it feels like there's a karmic connection here where uh, there may be even a sexual there's such a sexual connection that you can't stop yourself from uh, getting involved It could be a one-hit wonder, so you might want to be be careful. There, this probably won't lead to success. It probably won't. It's probably you know, we probably have an individual from the past because we have the past, and maybe that's why I said there's no chance of re real reunion here. I think there's an individual from the past that may be coming back. Uh, this person uh, maybe a one-hit wonder. You know, it's a hit and run kind of thing. Uh, you know, you never saw it coming. There's, there's, uh, you know, there's some sort of intimate encounter where, you know, you can't fight it and it doesn't lead anywhere. So just be careful. Be careful. I think this is a soulmate connection, but I think it's a karmic. I think it's a karmic soulmate connection where, I mean, we could have an individual that thinks that it's more than that. You know, they, they've, they've been reading up on the fantasy fairy tale kind of shit and they think it's something different. You know, but I think it's a karmic connection where uh, this doesn't lead to anywhere. It leads to sex and sex only. So I feel like there is somebody that from the past that is about to pop up. This is of a sexual nature. And I think that it will be uh, hard to say no. And I think many people will not say no. Uh...
there's going to be a parting of ways. There is going to be a parting of ways. There's a lot of gossip that has been going on. Okay, there's been some gossiping right here and right here. People have been talking. They've been talking about a certain person and somebody from the past has caught wind of it. They've caught wind of it and now they want their to sink their teeth in per se. That's what this is. So I think that uh, there is going to be a person that comes in hot and heavy. This is somebody that you have known before. This is somebody that you may have held hands with before, or you've you know, had a past life with before, or whatever. This person may have a girlfriend, or may have another person. They may be already attached, but they may be willing to detach from that person to uh, have this sexual encounter, okay? So I feel like there is going to be a, a sexual encounter that leads to nowhere, okay? It leads to nowhere. I feel like um, this is, you should probably protect yourself. And I think that you should, you should probably push this person away because it's a false sense of security. It doesn't lead, in a, lead to a solid foundation. Um, it leads, I think it leads to sex only. I do. I feel like it leads to sex only. I feel like it, you will end up parting ways from this person because it's actually a third party situation. This person, they come to you because of, um, you know, their desires. The Ace of Wands is a very, you know, sexual desires. And so isn't the devil and so isn't this one. So they're coming to get their desires met. This person has a big ego. This is the, the hangman has a big ego. This is somebody who's very egotistical. Needs to have their ego boost. Okay, needs an ego boost. This is somebody that um, is learning some kind of lesson. Okay. Um, and probably will not really let go of the other person. Will not really let go of the other woman. Okay. So my advice is to uh, make it. So you get a profit and a loss. Interesting. So you get the profit, and maybe here, maybe like yeah, to some, yeah, it's a profit. Then you get the loss. So this is profit and loss. You get it for a minute and you lose it just as fast. Good luck.